In this lecture, we're going to learn how we can deploy a smart, smart contract with a Ganache personal blockchain. So open up your Ganache application and you should get this option to create a workspace. You can quick start for a one click blockchain or create a new workspace for advanced setup options. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. We're going to select a quick start. This is going to launch a personal blockchain for testing purposes only with also test Ethereum. So here we have several addresses which we can use to make transactions and some Ethereum. Don't get excited. This Ethereum is fake for testing only. It will not work on a blockchain network unless that blockchain network is a test network or a local network. Okay, then we also have TX count index and keys. So we have account addresses and private keys. Don't use this private key on a public blockchain. Use it for development purposes only. So you have a bunch of accounts where you can send money to and from. You have your account detail at the top, your mnemonic for the account. You have accounts as well as blocks transactions, contracts, events, and logs. So you have a lot of data here. We want to go back to accounts and here we can see some data about our current block, our gas price, our gas limit, hard fork, the network ID, and the RPC server. These two are interesting to us because these two we are actually going to be using for our project, the network ID and the RPC server. Then we have the mining status, auto mining, and the workspace, which we can save, switch, or take a look at settings. Okay, so we want to be able to use this personal blockchain to test our project. So how do we do that? Well, we're actually going to use the network ID and the RPC server to hook up our project with this personal blockchain on Ganache. So for that, we are going to go into our truffle dash config file. So let's open our code editor and let's open our file truffle dash config. Here we are going to go to the area that is networks where we can specify a network for testing. So we should run a client like Ganache. You see we're even being prompted here by truffle itself in a separate terminal tab if you use this network. You must set host, port, and network ID options below to some value. So we have to have Ganache open in order to be able to run the personal blockchain. Here I'm going to uncomment out this development option. You can uncomment out something by using the Windows tab and then K, Windows and U. So you just hold that Windows or the command key hold command K and then hit U. All right, so here we have development. We have our host. This is localhost by default. Now, what do we use for the port? Do we use the standard Ethereum port 8545? Well, it actually depends on what blockchain you are using. If I go into Ganache and I go into here my home Ganache, then I go into the top right hand corner of settings. I am then going to go into server at the header here. So I'm inside of settings and then server. I can see that my host is local host right here. My port number is actually 7545. Then my network ID is 5777. So for my port number, I actually want to use 7545. So inside of my code editor, I want to change the port from seven from eight to seven. Okay, and the network ID is a star, meaning that it can be any network that is found. Now, before this can actually work, we actually have to deploy our contract to this personal blockchain. So for that, I'm going to go into my terminal. And here 
I'm going to CD into migrations. Here I have initial migrations.js and we can actually just take a look at that via our code editor as well. So inside of migrations I have one initial migrations. This is going to deploy one of my contracts, the migrations contract. I need to create another file that's very similar to deploy my contract of my token. So I'm going to go into my project folder and under migrations, I'm going to create a new file called two underscore deploy contracts dot JS. All right, then here we're going to write some code in JavaScript to deploy our custom contract. So I'm going to make a constant my token and use artifacts dot require my token. Then I'm going to use module.exports and create a function deployer. This is following a similar pattern to what initial migrations is doing, but we're just deploying our own custom contract. We use deployer.deploy my token. Okay, then we can go into our terminal and we can run our command npx truffle test. And let's take a look at what we get now. We're using our network development because we're testing on the development network. We compile our contracts and look at this. Now we have a passing test. We have a check mark that says deploys. So this tells me that inside of my test, which was see here it was our file of my token dot test dot js now we're able to deploy the token contract and this assertion passed as true we asserted that the address of the contract was not null this tells me that we were able to deploy the contract awesome so we learned that to deploy a contract you have to set up a blockchain on which to deploy. This could be a personal blockchain with Ganache, but if you're actually using this contract in the real world, then you would use a real blockchain instead of just this personal blockchain. We learned that we had to set up configurations in Truffle Config, and we learned that we had to build a actual JavaScript file to do the deployment for us. Then our test was able to pass. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.